Good morning, welcome back. We're uh, going to shift these cows across from the other side of the road. So paddock I topped in the last video, they've cleaned all that up. We've got a fence up the side of the driveway, stopping them purring on the driveway. We've still got people in the hill house, so we'll make it as pleasant as possible for them without having to drive through cattle and get cow crap all over their vehicles. So got Dad down here for a few days, and yeah, we're going to run the drone across. Um, yeah, they're all waiting to be shifted, so it should work pretty well, hopefully. All going well, as long as the traffic plays ball. So we've had a fair few questions about uh, what drone we use, shifting cattle and stuff. It's, it's nothing special, I'll show you. It's uh, just a DJI Maverick Air 2, uh, and it's just the noise of the drone shifts the cattle quite well. They, 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 they respond to it really, really well. Uh, the sheep don't care, they don't. <laughs> they just stand there and look at it. You could land it on a sheep's back and it'll just stand there and yeah. So uh, you can get ones with a barking noise, which I don't know how they go with sheep, whether the sheep get used to it, but um, yeah, this one works really, really well for cattle. We keep the dogs away and everything stays nice and calm. You know, they're all, they're all mothered up. Now they're out there grazing happily up there. So it uh, works really well for us. Uh, really, really rate it. So the plan for these girls, be, uh, they'll stay in here for a day or two days and then they'll come in and we'll mark the calves, do all those jobs that we need to do there. Uh, so marking is just steering the bull calves, uh, giving them our farm ear mark. Most of them have got ear tags, so just ear tagging the ones that don't. Giving them a multi-min injection just to make sure that they grow. Not limited in anything. Um, yeah, and then they'll go out onto the grass and they'll start rotating around and getting further up onto the hills now that the bulls have should have done most of the job in here. Seventy percent the first cycle, something like that. So, um, but today we're going to bring in the heifers, so the ones that have just finished calving a couple of three weeks ago. We'll bring them in and uh, yeah, mark those calves and put some tail paint on the heifers to see whether they are cycling. Uh, just because they're close to calving, we want to try and. Put the ball out with them as soon as we can to get them back into sync with the rest of the herd. Yeah, remnants of the, the bull issue that we had uh, last year. That's why they calved so late. So we'll go and get them in now. So we've got the heifers in. Run them into the yards and split them off. Come on ladies, play the game. Come on. Come on girls. Come on, Bubbas. Come on, Mums. Come on, Mums. Where you go? Come on, Mums. Come on, Mums. Where you go? Good girl. Oh, far easier with two people. <laughs>
Yeah, I might as well run them up and do them and tail paint them and get them out. Just poke all them in there. Come on, girls. Come on, Mum. Come on, Mum. Up, 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 up. Up, up, up. up. Come on, Mamas. Ooh, easy, easy. Uh, easy, come on girls, one at a time. One at a time, here we go, come on. Here you go. One more. Five or four, come on. One more, there we go. So since we've got this here for them, we're just giving them a B12 and a couple of couple of mils of this. Wee wee wee. Yeah, I know. Tail paint these heifers as well. Oh. <laughs> um, just to make sure that we keep track of any of the recycling. Yeah, just gives us a good visual of what's going on. Excuse me if I'm doing it wrong, I haven't done it for a few years. the last time I worked on a dairy farm, 2004, only 20 years ago. With Andrew Hoggard who's now an act MP. Yeah, yeah. So to Perry guys, I normally, when I'm tagging or marking calves, they're quite quiet, so normally just do them in the race. Get kicked maybe once a season out of 100 calves. Um, to Perry guys wanted me to try and do it through the lenser, see if it was any safer, faster, any of that. So we're gonna squeeze this up to use this. Bring that up to about there. For now, we'll see how that goes. Um, and what do we want to do? We want to... We can open that up because they're not going to jump out the side. Right. Uh... Yeah, do we weigh them first and then... Oh, yep, turn that on. That might help. Turn scales on so we've got our panel reader all hooked up. Shush! Panel reader all hooked up. So it should record uh, EID tag when it comes through. Put it on here, and then we can input data into here. Well, we need, okay, we need some of them. Some of them. Some of that. Then we'll be 
<laughs> Some of those. Just our sheep ear markers. They seem to work quite well for young calves as well. Right. Ice cream. Good to go. Right, who's first? We ones? Who's first? Oh, you're going to go on backwards. Come on, buddy. Turn around. There you go. Hop it on. Right. Oh, yeah. I've done it that way. So, we are... Uh, what are you? You are a... Uh, you're a bull. What is it? It's a bull calf. So, we're just going to here. Scroll down to six. Steer calf, or will be soon. EID, uh, visual tag number, I haven't uploaded the corresponding numbers in there, so we'll do, we'll do that later. Right, you hold that. I'll climb in here. Well, I've got it the right width for the calf, but it might not be the right width for me. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, we could do that. No, I don't know. Stay there, buddy. ones through here and then do the other ones in the race and we'll see how see how it all works out differently. So the Hereford or the, um, or the Angus, but all of these are, are, are pretty much Hereford cross, so we can do that later. Go. I do like the side panels that come down. Got lots of room to yeah, bring that this way. Go. Okay, buddy. For bigger, for bigger calves, this would be ideal. For these smaller calves, it's. Yeah. I think if you had real fl flighty, you know, like 
dangerous animals that you got kicked every time you went into the yards. You know, it would be, you'd probably feel a bit safer doing them through here. Mm. But for these guys. Oh, do you want to push that cord? Oh, oh, oh. Come on. I can do it, I can do it. So I could have uploaded all the um, could have uploaded all the sexes and birth dates into the scales before I did this too. Finish. Oh no no. Oh wait. Um. Oh, I just haven't done that. How much batteries have got left? Oh, 20%. Oh, huh, I don't know. Alright, so they're all done. Can you vaccinate those while you're there? Oh, yep, may as well. Turn it around. Come on, we want. So first time weighing calves through the lenta, uh, the squeeze is amazing. So you run calves up, they sit at the front, squeeze, uh, means they don't turn around or anything, and then the offside drafting handle straight out the side to their mums, perfect, works a treat. Uh, these, all these gates that fold down, so this is the MX3, which is the fold down side gates, all these ones here. So they all fold down or swing out of the way, like so. Um, and settle down scales. And um, yeah, so lots of leaning over, lots of availability to get to the animal. So yeah, works really well. Uh, speed wise, still think it's faster us putting them down the race, doing the steering, the ear marking, the tagging, uh, vaccinating in the race. Well, you could vaccinate them in the air. Wouldn't be too bad. But then just weighing them through here, flicking them out. If you had really aggressive calves and you were worried about getting kicked or you're a bit older, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, then you know you could put them all through here. It would just slow it down. I'm all about speed and efficiency and my body still can take a beating. So uh, we'll worry about that in later years. Um, but no, like I only get kicked maybe once a year out of 100 calves, like I said. So it's not too bad. These calves are quite quiet. We're renowned for having quite quiet calves, like the guys that buy them off us at weaning. That's one of the comments we always get every year is, shit, they're quite quiet. So, um, it's pretty cool. Quiet cows, yeah, and mustering with the drone, keeping the dogs away, quiet, yeah. Uh, 
very uh, conscious approach going forward throughout the year. So the heifer's all tail painted and uh, some B12, calves all done. So we're going to actually join them back up with the, well we're going to join them up with the first carvers over here which we've got two bulls with them and hopefully all this pink paint will get rubbed off fairly soon. I right, just had a bite of lunch, got a merch order to post so Greg your order's on the way. I'll get it in before courier comes. Good morning, the next day. Uh, Dad's gone home, we're gonna battle away and just uh, mark all these main lot of beef calves. Uh, so mixed age cows, these are these calves. Come on girls. Calves are looking good. We'll see what the weight is on them and hopefully yeah, it all goes well. cows drafted out just as they were running in the back of the yards. We'll start on this side, draft these cows out, leave these calves here and continue around the other side. Long race marking calves, so we'll see how this goes. Be good to have in that gate halfway down. Go, babies. Go, babies. Go, babies. Oh, I probably don't need you all in there. Illustrators from tailing lambs generally fine, they're pretty good. Got a bigger set of tapari ones if I need to. This time of year, these ones are pretty good. Right, so the weighing's going pretty good through the lenta. Done a few races already. Show you what we do. Open this up. Hardest thing is actually getting them in there, but once they're in there, come on, buddy. In you hop. Shut the door. They walk on there. We've just got the squeeze up a wee bit. So, and then we come onto here 156 kilos. Scroll down, put in, here's a steer. Let them out the left hand side. Got that gate out there open. So, you go straight out to mum. Flick that, walk back, grab that one, next one, another steer, 114 kilos that one, out we go, 
pretty quiet. Self closed, well, you know, self latching um, offside drafting handle. Come on, buddy. Come on, just one of you. Come on. Oh, can't use my stick for the gate in the camera. Or can I, all at the same time? Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Here we go. So that is a heifer. Put it down here. Heifer. Recorded. Let you out. Where you go, girl. Pretty quick. Far quicker than our old system. Even though our old system was, was pretty good. Come on, buddy. Spilling everything. Spilling my rubber rings. Right, you. Come on. Where you go? Up your hop. There's another heifer. <laughs> so we're all done. Um, we, yeah, lean to weighing through that, weighing the calves through that was really, really good actually. Worked really, really well. Um, marking them through there, like I said the other day, or yesterday when I did those other ones, that I prefer to do them in the race. You could do them in there. Um, I'm not worried about them standing on my, on my feet and whatnot. So, and didn't get kicked once, so that's good. Just got to know where to stand and what to do. Um, all right, so we did 82 today, 117 kilo average. So, yeah, like I said, remember that these were born in September. So, oh, drop my phone. These are born in September. Um, so yeah, we'll go and work out growth rate and work out whether they're above or below where they should be uh, compared to this time last year. So we'll disconnect all this stuff and head home for a cover. So end of the day, uh, yeah, calf weights. We bit back on last year, both the mixed age and of course the heifers with the later calving heifers and all that stuff. Not much we can do about it uh, in the past, but going forward, yeah, we've got water supply on the hill, we've got plenty of feed, so I think we can make it up. I'm pretty confident uh, with the amount of tucker we've got. So thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Good night, it's so snowy.